Praxis, and today I'm working on the north side of the house, putting up all of the foam material. It hadn't been my plan when I got here this morning to do that. I wanted to finish up the last of the boards. I was able to uh, essentially finish everything up to the collar ties uh, with the boards that I had. I did run out, but the amount of scrap that I had left over is a piece about maybe that long. That's not even enough to you know go between any of the bays. So really, I was perfect. To, not to pat myself on the back too much, but perfect. I was really proud of the fact that I just had no excess scrap, and uh, yeah, that, that all worked out really well. I have some junk boards that I had salvaged from a trash site a while ago that I think I'm going to use up for the top. Some of them have some dry rot in them, but it's tongue and groove board, and as long as I kind of pick through, I can think I can get around the, the dry rot stuff, and I can you know, sand it up, make it look decent, but it's all going to be up in the loft area that you're really not going to be able to see from the bottom, and even if you could see from the bottom, it's a shed, so I think I'm going to be fine with it. The only thing that is kind of driving me a little crazy today is this. Ugh. The bugs. There's just so many of them. In fact, right now, yeah, okay, well, this is a little more representative. It's been kind of like this all day where I just, you know, I'll pop off several dozen of them, and the, and they keep coming back. I, I'm right next to the forest here working, but they just, you know, as soon as you pause, they're after you, and uh, it's kind of exhausting, and I take a lot of time to do this, but, you know, otherwise they start crawling in your face. They've been going in my ears. I guess I could put a, a bug net on. The hat helps a lot, because they kind of, you know, they swarm up there a lot, and they, uh, Oftentimes won't figure out their way around the hat, but there's so many of them at this point. I mean, they're they're everywhere anyway. Uh, it's so that's been a little bit frustrating uh, working under these conditions. But one nice thing is that in addition to uh, the idea that I'm going to be using the junk uh, tongue and groove up for the top, uh, I'm, I've also been able to uh, use a lot of scrap foam here. Scrap, 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 right along the backside here. So I did. Uh, what's that? It's better than half the shed, uh, so like seven feet plus of uh, just uh, scrap stuff. So that's like, well, that, that'd be about two panels, two of these full-size panels, and each panel costs like $30. So that's like 60 bucks right there that I saved just by hanging onto that scrap instead of just throwing it in a dumpster somewhere. So that was pretty cool, throwing a little bit of spray foam in the middle. That cost a little bit of money, but nowhere near, oh, I got one in the mouth. Nowhere near as much as uh, a fresh panel. Ugh. Bugs.